Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 and specifically we're going to be looking at the second encounter for the new raid. Now, I'm not going to explain it because I already explained it in another video. So I'm just going to plop that audio here and then do the outro because I don't want to do the whole thing in one video just because it was going to take too long. And although looking back now, I probably should have done that, but whatever. I'm already here. Let's just complete them. So, yeah. So, you're going to have Atrex 1. You're going to have a bunch of them spawn. You're going to have... I can't. I don't have footage of the bottom one, unfortunately, but I do have footage of the top one, which was what I was doing. So, you'll see a bunch of them. Make sure you know which where each one of is because you're going to have to make sure you go. You can make go to them. So, you're going to have one team at the bottom and one team at the top. And the buff... The scanner spawns on top and the other one spawns at the bottom, the red one. I always forget that. The operator. Operator spawns on bottom. What you're gonna want to do is just kill everything. Make sure make sure you keep killing ads, because ads will fuck you up if you're not careful. Once you get to a certain point, servitors are gonna spawn in with the buffed uh, enemy. Kill the servitors as fast as you can, and then the bottom team will have to give the buff to the top team because the scanner has to scan the top area first. Once once everyone has the buff on top, the the bosses will start to basically do a wipe mechanic. From there, the scanner will have to see which one's the real one. They'll start glowing yellow. So once they start glowing yellow, you go up to the boss and you have to damage it. You have to do as much damage as you can. What me and my team ended up doing on our second on our second time going through it, we had two titans, if I remember correctly, and a warlock or two warlocks and a titan. And you do as like whatever damage you can like squeeze out, bubble, uh, well, whatever you can do, do that because you're gonna need as much damage because this is a slight DPS check, unfortunately. So just do that. Once you get to the boss, start hitting her. We were using swords. Swords is like the best thing you can do right now. A good, uh, a god roll uh, guillotine would be great. The new exotic I heard is really good. Either way, do as much damage as you can. I was also using a specific build. I'll probably put that in the beginning first and then like whatever. So don't worry about that. But yeah, oh my God, guys. So after after you you killed the first boss, you'll have her soul fragment come out, which is what I'm calling it, it which is the purple thing that you have to get in the beginning to uh, start it. So the soul fragment, you'll have it for like 25. You'll have the buff for 40, 44, 45 seconds. So the top the the team on top has to hold the the buff. The th cool thing is you can juggle it. The operator, which will never go downstairs, it's always upstairs. The operator can shoot the ball and the you can basically juggle it over and over. From there, once you kill the boss, the scanner has to give the, the buff to the other person, which I, obviously I'm showing you guys how to do that right now in the video. Once you the scanner gives the scanner to the other team, the other team has to get the scanner and then basically do what we just did but at the bottom and then what you can do is there's going to be four doors in, in the top room what is it two on left side top and then two on right side bottom if i remember correctly from there you're going to want to have your operator shoot the the panel right next to the door and then each person that's that has the soul fragment go inside. The operator is gonna, is gonna shoot the the soul fragments and then go outside. That's pretty much it. You can do you can go one by one if you want, or you can do what we did, which was either two two or three and one. Either way, just do that. And honestly, it's literally just that. Just juggle scanner over and over. So let's say top is first. Obviously, top is always first. So top. Then once the boss is killed bottom once the boss is killed top again and then once the boss is killed bottom again so you're gonna have two people from bottom go up 
Not at the same time, thankfully, but you'll have one person stay down most of the time. So after you do that four times, that's a that's a whole that's a whole phase, and then you reset. That's really it. Uh, and like I said, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, this encounter is hard, but if you keep doing it, I know you'll get it. It's not hard. It's just you gotta remember to do your job. So again, uh, once. Once top the top team has scanner and they scan their their thing already and did damage, remember to switch out buffs. Let them know. All right, scanner going down, and vice versa. Remember to do the callouts. Callouts are very important, especially on the last portion of the boss. Also, something I probably didn't mention is the last portion of the boss fight where all of the things are out. Make sure everyone is there with you before you start attacking because you can actually one phase the final part. You can actually destroy that boss if you all are there. You can just do one boss. So instead of going around like chicken without a head saying, oh, it's this guy, it's, it, attack this one. Make sure everyone is at that one dude and just go ham on damage. You'll be able to take them down by one hit. So just make sure that you uh, always keep your cool, make sure that the people that are responsible responsible feel that they're able to do that if you put someone who's not comfortable don't do that just because this is a raid that you need to basically put your part in for the newer people that are a little too nervous don't worry just let them know like oh i'm new i've never done this and just make sure you are aware that you're gonna fail a few times but don't let that impede you from actually learning it because once you learn it you can really start to help everyone else or in some cases if you want to do the raid by yourself you can actually just go to the lfg and you'll already know that job so you'll already be a valuable asset to that team so i would highly recommend a lot of people do this this is a really cool raid and it's not that hard actually i know i know that sounds crazy but it's actually not it's pretty simple once you get the mechanics down so yeah, let me know what you, your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let's link down in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.